Sinanya Mayor Robert Hoffman says it's about time the Mayor's Council of Guam has been folded into the picture. We're dumbfounded why it wasn't there in many, 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 many moons ago. According to a recent executive order signed by the governor, it reconstitutes the Interagency Council for Coordinating for Homeless Programs, which for the first time will include the Mayor's Council. The Interagency Council is chaired by Lieutenant Governor of Guam with Mayor Hoffman Vice Chair, Guam Housing Corporation, Gura, the Guam Regional Transit Authority, a member of the Guam Homeless Coalition, and a member of the public appointed by the governor. The executive order also establishes an Office of Homelessness Assistance and Poverty Prevention at the Mayor's Council of Guam. So what this does now is it puts people in the same page, which I really feel is great, and gets us all talking and talking about the issues. Many of these agencies and departments receive some sort of money to help poverty prevention or homelessness. And it only made sense to kind of put everybody now and saying, okay, this is now all the things the homeless and the people who are facing poverty or struggling, this is what they can apply for and can get. And so we naturally asked, and when we were asked to be involved, we said, sure, this is, you know, we're facing it. And, you know, they say, if you want something done, ask a mayor. So we said, sure, we'll step up to it. Hoffman says the office will be like a one-stop place for the homeless to seek assistance. So for all these new ones, and we're displaced because of COVID or, you know, evicted because of other reasons, this is kind of where they'll end up having to go to do that. And it'll also help kickstart uh, kick their case management and files. Over the last few months, the Leon Guerrero Tenorio administration has been working on a shelter for the island's homeless population, but nothing has materialized. A part of the Interagency Council's responsibilities will be to provide shelter and protection for unsheltered homeless families as well as individuals. I know they're looking for spaces for the, drop, the evening drop-in shelter where only evenings they can come in and, and uh, stay. Uh, and then there's some that are for looking for units and uh, looking for viable space. Uh, there's, there's a lot of options that we're trying to look at. But the issue we have is what's available is very, very scarce. There is at this time no official word on when an actual hardened shelter will open its doors to our island's homeless.